Hey y'all, it's Michelle here. Um, I'm going out to feed my hens and my rooster and my ducks. Not that I'd take you along for the ride. Um, we got our first chickens about, oh, this is our third year. And that's our rooster. That's Daffy Duck and Mama Duck. And a pumpkin. <laughs> we put the pumpkin in there. It's going on a week and a half ago, close to two weeks. Put it in their hole. It had a crack in it, and they've just been eating at it ever since. So I'm going to throw some scratch. The scratch that we use <laughs> is um, kind of an all natural type of scratch, there's no preservatives. No um, fillers or anything in the scratch. It's got wheat berries, um, corn, cracked corn, some other stuff I don't know right offhand. But um, yeah, we give that to our hens. And we got right here. There's some more. We have Dominickers, which are those. We have Rhode Island Reds, which are those. And we have Araconas. We have two Araconas that give me blue eggs. And let me see if I can find them. That's the pool for our duck. We have to um, clean it out. So, let's see. have a hand that likes to jump on. I don't have anything in my hand, so don't even jump on me. She tries to get in her lap. I put some up here for her. And down here. So. Wow, we have a lot of eggs. Well, hey there. I got your food up there. We have a three gallon water tank. Oh, good lord. And I just let it empty out this way because we have ducks that get it dirty. So that refills their water. I'm going to go. We have four, seven eggs. There's nothing there. Do you have any eggs in there? Ah, don't, don't you. Don't you get at me. Don't you get at me. I don't know if any of anybody else has chickens. But they have where they lose their feathers on the back, and that concerns me when it gets that big. Um, we know they don't have mites because we treat with um, oh that day conceitious whatever earth stuff, and that treats their mites and everything that they might get. But not all the hens. See that hen didn't have it, but my Dominickers are getting it. So, I don't know. You gonna come out? You gonna come out? I guess not. So, okay, I'm gonna get my other cup to put my eggs in. So, you hear? She's mad because I try to get her out of box. She's telling me off, let me tell you. Make you mad? Does make you mad? Who are you talking to down there? Talking to Bert? Bert's our rooster. He's huge. Oh, and those two birds right there. Those two. No. Yeah, those two. That one and that one. No. That one. And. Yeah. Those two are our Araconas. We like those. I like them at least. Okay. Get my eggs. <laughs> he big. That's a big old egg. So, oh, they're warm. Okay, all of them are not going to fit in here. I'm going to have to carry two of them. Or one of them. 
so seven eggs today. I'm not going to move you. Anyways, we're going to revamp our chicken coop this spring. We're, it's kind of tight quarters in here. We're actually going to expand this out. I'll show you whenever I get out of the coop. Let's see. Sorry about you just staring at wood. Oh, don't fall. Try and get in there. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Hold that so we can. My red neck walk. Anyways, we're going to expand this, this out to right here so we can add some more shelves in there, some more nesting boxes, and um, side it. We're going to concrete this whole area right here so they have somewhere to eat um, and roost and stuff and stay out of the, when it snows and everything, so. But it's January and I still have green grass. So we've had a mild winter, so. And this is our garden. And, well, what's left of the garden. So, more about that later. But I just wanted to give y'all a quick tour of my chicken coop. So, if you got any ideas on how to expand it um, cheaply and efficiently, I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks. Have a blessed day.